will. Where do I begin? How about, uh, let's talk about this uh, proposed District 2. Let's talk about Fremont County. Talk about testimony is given. Would have been great to have heard what was heard on, uh, what was testified to on Thursday from people down in that area. You know, what communities of interest are we looking at here between Fremont County and the other proposed counties in the second congressional? Maybe it's the, all the DOC facilities throughout the district. Oh, wait, no, those are only in Fremont County. Maybe it's the Federal Bureau, Bureau of Prisons. Maybe it's all the agriculture. Maybe it's the, the cattle ranching that we have in Fremont County that's so prolific in, in places like Boulder County and Douglas County. Perhaps it's the apple orchards that we have in Canyon City and Penrose. Maybe these are the things that are communities of interest between us and Boulder County. You know, I mentioned on Thursday to the sponsor that this is not Fremont County and the inclusion here and the, the angst we have over this is not about political leanings here. This is about what does Fremont County have to do with Boulder? Not a thing. It has nothing more to do with it than it does with the other county in there that was just talked about, Douglas County. Two completely opposite ends of the spectrum on political leanings, and Fremont County has nothing more to do with Douglas than it does with Boulder. It does not belong here. This is not, I can't even comprehend what thought transpired to lead to the inclusion of this county with these other counties. Fremont and Park simply have this relationship with El Paso County. And it cannot be ignored. It cannot be denied. El Paso County, Fremont County have a direct tie when it comes to Fort Carson. When it comes to a bedroom community, in Penrose, and in Canyon City, and in Florence, the ties are unmistakable. What are those ties when we look at Douglas County? What are those ties when we look at Boulder? You ask yourself that question, you have the same answer I do. There are none. There are none. It's not about political leanings. It's not about voter registration. It's about the, the fact that there is nothing to do with the other. Nothing. Now that's just one. Let's talk about, uh, let's talk about CD5 on this map. Like interests was said. Well, where are the like interests in CD5 on here? Talk about watersheds. Much was said about watersheds. The Arkansas River Valley, the Arkansas River watershed. What is the like interest here between the Lower Ark Valley and El Paso County? There is a similarity here, the similarity being that they both want the water, one has it, the other doesn't. That is not a like interest, that is a completely disparate interest between the two. How do we put these two together? This is an unholy alliance between these two areas. Oh, much was brought about here at this mic just a few moments ago by one of the folks at the podium here that said, talking about Pinion Canyon. Well, let's talk about Pinion Canyon. Apparently, in some opinions, there is little effect here. That Pinion Canyon is not an issue here in the fifth. I still can't fathom the exact reason why that statement was made or from what frame of reference that comes from, but we look at Pinion Canyon, and we look at El Paso County, the two, the Pinion Canyon, 
I think the, the comments that I heard are very telling that the, the understanding of the Pinion Canyon issue is completely void here in this map. What is the common interest here between Otero County, between Bent County, between Baca County, Prowers County, Crowley County, when it comes to El Paso County? There is none, except for Pinion Canyon, which puts these two areas, El Paso County and the entire southeast area of the state, at loggerheads with each other. It's not a lack of interest, it's about a complete the complete opposite of interests. And when you look at the population disparity between these two areas, 622,000 in one county, whose interest is Fort Carson, and whose interest is the expansion of Pinion Canyon, where is that represent representation going to come from? El Paso County. Are they going to represent the southeast corner of the state, as has been made so, uh, that argument's been made here at the mic that it's about uh, bringing in these uh, people to make them represent these other areas. Uh, that's not going to happen here. We have an overwhelming population where the representative will come from who will be a complete loggerheads with the interests of most of the geography of his county or her county. Pinion Canyon. Apparently, the, the maps that were, are being looked at by those that propose this, uh, they don't understand what Pinion Canyon expansion is about. Could you uh, put that map up, please? This is the Pinion Canyon expansion area. It comes out of the 2004 study from Fort Carson. There is the Pinion Canyon maneuver site right now. All those areas around it, are the study area and the proposed areas of the Pinion Canyon maneuver site that they're proposing to expand into in different phases. First and second phases, this is the fourth phase over here, almost all the way to Trinidad. If you can't see the shading area, it goes all the way through Prowers County, Bent County, through the southern half of Otero County, all the way to the eastern edge of Los Animas County, and all the way to the Kansas border and Baca County. Five million acres. That is the proposed area. That's what's at stake here in the hearts and minds of the people of Southeast Colorado. Is that the same community of interest with El Paso County? No, it is not. And to say otherwise is completely false. Folks, this map is not, this map is not acceptable. Don't know how else to put it. We are going to take an area of the state, the entire southeast corner of the state, and we are literally going to disenfranchise them if this map proceeds on through and becomes our districts here in this state. Are we really ready to do that and put these people who put their lives on the line, they put their, their heart, their soul, their blood, sweat, and tears into their land, into their homesteads, into their ranches, into their farms, and put it into a district where a representative will be at complete odds with their interest. Is that what we're wanting to do? I hope not, but that's what this map does. Folks, please say no to this.